What is up, guys? Aaron Radcliffe here from Nomads Nation, your number one resource for digital nomad content and badass backpack reviews. And today, we're gonna do a Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack review. In this insider guide, we're gonna take this pack through the streets of Ho Chi Minh so you can see the way that it looks, feels, and functions in an urban environment. But not only that, I'm gonna tear this apart. We're gonna talk about the specs of the pack, the style, the way that it feels, the front, the middle, the back, so you can know whether or not this is the pack for you. And then, at the end of the video, we're gonna take it off the streets and back into my co-working space where I'll let you know exactly who I think the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack is perfect for. If it's not for you, I'll tell you exactly what backpack I think is for you. And before we jump into everything, guys, you know what to do. If you like the video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and any purchases you make, please use the links at the bottom because it guarantees the best price for you and we get a little bit of a kickback which keeps this YouTube channel funded and rolling so we can make more backpack reviews. I'm stoked, let's do it. Let's talk about the specs of the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. Two things to talk about. First up is the price, second up is the size, and both are consistent. The price is $99, and the size is 21 liters. There's another Tortuga Outbreaker pack, but as opposed to a 21 liter, it's a 45 liter. It's like the big brother, this is the little brother, okay? The bigger one is like a long-term travel pack. This is like a smaller everyday use backpack. 21 liters is perfect for like your day-to-day -day routine, okay? Whether you're going from home to the office to the gym, or whether you're traveling through Europe and you need like a day pack to bring on your day excursions. Think, the bigger pack is where you have all your clothes, and the smaller pack, like this, your day pack, is where you kind of take around on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's exactly what this pack is, is a day pack for traveling because of the way that it's designed. It packs flat. We'll show this in depth a little bit later, but this thing is meant to literally like fold like two little pieces of paper, compress into nothing, making it a perfect day pack for lightweight travels inside your larger travel pack. Now, let's chat about the style of the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. And there's two things that I like to talk about with style. First up is the color options, and this one's easy, just like the price and the size, one option for price, one option for size, one option for color, you got the black. Black is cool, black is classy, black never goes out of fashion, so you can be confident knowing that the black is gonna look awesome. The next part about the style, though, is the actual shape of the pack. Like, what does it look like? And this, okay, so this is in the Outbreaker family. Now, the larger Outbreaker has a real boxy look to it. This one is a little less boxy, but still has a bit of boxiness to it. Really, when it comes to this pack, and most Tortuga backpacks, they're not the most stylish backpacks on the market. But that's cool beans, bro, because Tortuga's not making like designer backpacks to stroll down the streets of downtown New York City in. They're making super functional backpacks to stroll down the streets of New York City in. So while aesthetically speaking, it's not like the most beautiful work of art of a backpack that I've ever seen, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to serve functional purposes. This backpack is meant to be two things, functional and durable. And it accomplishes both of those things at the sacrifice of its aesthetics, in my opinion, yes, but it doesn't matter because the functionality and the durability are the two most important things. All right, guys, we're moving along. Let's talk about feel. First of all, let's talk about how I feel, and it's great because I'm on my third Tiger beer and a shot of Jameson, but most importantly, let's talk about the way the backpack feels. So, the backpack feels great. First up is the exterior materials. Just like its older brother, the Tortuga Outbreaker, the 45 liter travel pack, this is made from sailcloth. You're like, sailcloth, what do you mean? I mean, like, literally, like, take a sailboat and, like, rip the sails off and like knit a backpack out of it and voila, you have the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. Sailcloth material is super cool in some ways and it kind of sucks in other ways. 
it's cool because like first it's super unique like there are very few backpacks actually there are none as far as i'm aware that use this material so it's a very memorable look and experience and i'm serious like it really feels good like i mean the feel is really nice it's smooth uh it feels durable like it's just it's got a nice touch to it but on the flip side if you bring the camera in really close you might be able to hear this i'll bring the mic this material's got like a crunchiness to it this crunchiness is just it comes with the territory this sailcloth material has that crunchiness to it um which it's not a bad thing it's just kind of something to be aware of but more or less the exterior materials are freaking awesome as for the feel of the interior materials because it's really important guys think about it you're constantly going to be opening and closing this backpack and putting your hands in and touching it and your hands gonna like touch against all the interior materials and like if it sucks every time you touch it it's like oh that's a bummer that's a fucking bummer that sucks but if it's good materials it makes the experience of the backpack awesome every time and this backpack has great materials tortuga constantly utilizes this material which i'll be honest i have no idea what it is but it's got an amazing feel to it and i know this is like the nerdiest backpack thing to say in the history of nerdy backpack things but i think tortuga has the strongest interior material game in all of backpacks keep killing it tortuga next up for the feel is the zippers like how do the zippers feel how do they function are they smooth and the answer to all those questions is yes tortuga never messes around with their zippers these zippers are ykk weather resistant which means that if you get caught in a little bit of a little bit of a drizzle a little bit of a thunderstorm say you all of your expensive techie gear is going to be safe and well protected inside and all of that is without the sacrifice of the smoothness of the zippers. I mean, they just feel great. When you can one hand a zipper, you know that it's, it, it's got it going on. And then finally, for the last part of how it feels is like literally, is it comfortable? Is it comfy? Aaron, is it comfy? Hold on, let me test it. Absolutely. Yet again, with any backpack you buy, there's going to be a trade-off. Tortuga's trade-off is like, hey, it might not look the best, but it's going to be durable. It's going to be functional. And it's also going to be mad comfortable. The Outbreaker Day Pack, just like all Tortuga backpacks, has a really nice padding, the shoulder straps are great, and it's just a really comfortable wearing experience. So just like me right now, the Tortuga backpack feels great. All right, let's start breaking down the actual backpack though. Let's talk about the front of the pack. First thing to know is the Tortuga logo. Love their branding. They're super consistent with all of their packs. All of Tortuga backpacks have this little rubber stamp, which is the shell of a turtle, which Tortuga means turtle, and that's your Spanish lesson of the day. I like it because it's nice, it's subtle, doesn't scream like Tortuga, Supreme. Nike. It's just like a nice little subtle branding and it works really effectively. The other thing to note about the front is really, we just talked about the sailcloth materials, but it's really dominant. Like it really is just kind of the whole front of the bag. You got the logo, you got the little pocket up here, which we'll talk about next. But this sort of like diagonal diamond sort of shape that is imprinted on the material is really sort of dominant for the front and it kind of is a defining feature for how the bag looks. But functionally speaking, there's not really a ton happening excluding this quick access pocket right here. This pocket is simple. There's only two things to take into consideration. One is that it's actually impressively deep. Look at all this stuff. So this front pocket, oh my God, I'm still pulling stuff out of there. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my, there's more. So although this pocket might look small, all this stuff fit very comfortably in there. This is the quick access pocket, but it's got kind of like a throw all sort of a vibe in there. Like there's no additional organization or compartmentalization. It's just a big old pocket and you throw your shit in there and you zip it closed and that's it. There is a really nice key ring holder in there. I like this key ring. It's actually pretty easy to use. You just pop your keys in there, pop them right off. A good key ring holder needs to be accessible. Cause think about it. You know, you're, you spend all day walking around with this pack and then you get back to your apartment or your Airbnb or to your hostel or whatever it is and you got your key and you just want to sling your backpack in front of you and then grab it and then use it and pop it back in. That's exactly what this key ring holder allows you to do. 
I do have a thing for like slingy key ring holders or magnets that you could just kind of pop back into place, but in the hierarchy of key ring holders, this one's pretty tight. The only negative about this pocket is that sometimes the zipper does get stuck. I'm trying to show you and it's not doing it, but just take my word for it that sometimes this little, little flap right there can get caught, but it's not happening right now, which is a good sign. It doesn't happen too often, but every now and then you are gonna get snagged right there. Don't worry about it too much. It's a zipper. It's a pocket. Zippers and pockets just get snagged sometimes. It just comes with the territory. It's a part of the game, but this one does a really, really great job. And the whole like experience is great. I mean, you want a quick access pocket to be quick, just like your keys, you know? It's like you just got into your Airbnb in Bogota, Colombia, okay? And now you got your day pack and you're walking around, okay? And you're sightseeing, you're taking pictures. You're like, whoa, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. And then you're like, oh my God, I want to disinfect my hands. Boom, you go into your thing, you grab it, disinfectant, done, like that. Uh, I caught a snag, okay, right there. So you see, sometimes the flap will actually get kind of stuck. It's eating this flap right there. It can be a little annoying and it happens a little too frequently, but at the end of the day, you can just kind of pop it right out and it's like it never happened. Overall, the front of the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack is on par with the entire theme of this pack, which is just pure simplicity and pure functionality. It just needs to work, and it just needs to enable you to get in and out of this quick access pocket as seamlessly as possible. Okay, front, done. Let's talk about the middle of the pack, which is the most important part. First up, we've got two water bottle holders, one on each side. I'm not crazy about having two water bottle holders, but it is nice because you can use it as an additional pocket if you don't travel with two water bottles. Right here, I've got my 750 milliliter water bottle. It fits perfectly. There's a little bit of elasticity to this uh, holder so you can fit a larger water bottle, but not much bigger. And the good thing is that if you have a normal sized water bottle, it feels pretty good, pretty secure. Up next is the large main compartment. And this one is actually pretty big. It looks like a small backpack, but honestly at 21 liters, there is a ton you can fit into this baby. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of like laptop stuff, reading glasses, a laptop stand. This is a really great backpack for a digital nomad who's traveling and wants a lightweight day pack to carry their stuff to and from the cafe, the co-working space, your office, whatever it might be. As you can see, it packs deep. It's a 21 liter. It feels more like a 25 to 28 liter though. It's big. Yet again, these interior materials feel great. They're like really silky, man. They're just like silky, sexy, smooth. TLC's album was crazy, sexy, cool. Tortuga's model should be silky, sexy, smooth. Up next, we have the actual tech compartment, okay? And the tech compartment is quite cool because you have two spots. You got one for your laptop, and it's actually quite big. So for instance, right here, I have the laptop, I've got a notebook, and I've got my Bluetooth keyboard as well. So there's a ton of stuff you can fit in there, not just a laptop. By the way, this fits up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So if you travel with a 16 inch or a 17 inch laptop, this one's gonna be too small for you. And the smaller compartment is the tablet compartment. This holds a tablet up to 9.7 inches, but it's also good for notebooks, Bluetooth keyboards, uh, really whatever you wanna put in there. Now notice, one thing I wanna show you guys is what I said about the compressibility of this bag, and it's its most important selling point. Think about other day packs that, you know, maybe I've reviewed, like the Nomadic Backpack. It's about the same liters, it's 24 liters, this one's 21, but the Nomadic Backpack is thick and you'll never get it past like this width. But this Outbreaker Day Pack compresses, it flattens. And the whole point is that you put this in your larger travel back and you just flatten that bitch like a pancake. So it really compresses down, and this is like one of the most enormous and most important selling points about this bag is its functionality and its ability to just kind of reduce down to nothing. It's pretty awesome. And then the only other thing about the middle to take into consideration is that there's no side handle. Typically a day pack might have like a handle here or a handle there so you can do a quick grab. This one, nothing. I'm okay with that. I think it was a design choice. This is meant to be lightweight. If there was a side handle here, it would compromise with the overall sort of 
functionality of a lightweight day pack, but I personally think maybe they could have foregone one of the two water bottle holders and popped a side handle on the sides. Then you got the best of both worlds. You got the water bottle holder on one side, the side handle on the other side, and you're good to go. All right, and last up, dudes, let's talk about the back of the pack. Now, one thing to note here is that there are other compressible day packs on the market. In fact, Tortuga makes one of the best compressible day packs on the market. Not this one, but they have an actual, uh, like a compressible day pack. And you could scrunch that little dude up into a ball. This one though, you can't. And the reason is because of this back panel system. Bring it in close, check this out. So similar to the style of the Tortuga Outbreaker, we have padding. And that padding helps create a system of ventilation, which makes sure your back does not get sweaty. Because you don't want your back to get sweaty and gross. I'm not saying this is the most comfortable back panel in the world, but it doesn't have to be. It just needs to provide a little something, something, because, you know, if you're traveling around in this, you know, for five hours during the day, while you're in Bogota on your day trip, and it's hot as balls in the middle of summer, to have a little bit of padding to bring comfort to your back and to have this ventilation system to fight the sweaty back, which sucks, is a godsend. So this is really the feature that separates this compressible day pack from other compressible day packs. So on the pros of that, you have this additional comfort and you have this additional padding, but on the cons, you lack the ultimate compressibility. You can't compress this backpack into a ball. Moving on to the shoulder straps, these guys are nice because they're comfortable, but they're also super light. And in typical Tortuga tradition, talk about a tongue twister, my alliteration is on point today. You have a lot of ventilation. See all these little holes in there? And then bring that up to these shoulder straps. You can see that it utilizes the same sort of design where it has these little circles. Those are not just for aesthetics, guys. Those are for ventilation. And it's great for the shoulders because the holes in the front are the same on the back, okay? And it just means that air can pass through, giving your shoulders the sweet breeze of love. These shoulder straps and the back panel are going to make this the most comfortable compressible day pack on the market and it helps to rationalize the $99 price tag. A normal compressible day pack should never charge $99 for but since it has this entire system of comfort and ventilation it's worth what you're paying. One negative to take into consideration about the shoulder straps is you're going to have a little bit of dangle going on here. There's not really a lot of excess dangle going on. You know me, I always appreciate a little nylon circle right there so you can just kind of keep this thing in line. Know your place! But unfortunately this is going to dangle around a little bit. You know, it's, it's not the biggest deal, but it annoys me. Head a little bit north, guys, and on the shoulder straps, we have this sternum strap. I found it interesting that they put a sternum strap on this. I've never seen a compressible day pack with a sternum strap before, but yet again, this is like compressible day pack meets more of a heavy duty day pack and a heavy duty day pack, nine times out of 10 is gonna have the sternum strap on it. So it works pretty well. The sternum strap is removable. You can just go ahead and unhook it there in case you don't want it. And it's easy to kind of pop on and pop off. Remember how I was bitching how this doesn't have a little circle nylon thing? This is what I'm talking about, guys, right here. So Tortuga implemented the Dangle Fighter. That's what I call this, the Dangle Fighter. Fighting Dangle since 2009. The Dangle Fighter. The Dangle Fighter. That'd make a good band name. I fight dangles. Uh, it's got a great clip to it, though. It's easy to clip on, easy to clip off. I think it's a great sternum strap. And honestly, this thing, this backpack has a little bit of bulk to it, so it's nice to have. And when you clip the sternum strap on, it just gives an additional sense of security. Like, it just kind of mounts it to your chest and keeps it in place, which I'm personally, like, a huge fan of. And the last thing I want to bring up is this top handle. Now, normally, if this was another backpack, I would rip the f into this. But since this is meant to be a lightweight, compressible day pack, the fact that it's just a basic nylon strap is something that I'll, I understand. It was a design choice. They're saying, hey, you're not gonna use this handle too much. When you do need it, it's there. And it's got a decent amount of grip to it. And like, there's a decent amount of space. So you can grab and go real fast. Not like that, but like that. 
I just always wish that my handles have a little bit more padding because I do like to grab my pack and kind of hold it like that sometimes. Sometimes just putting the pack on your shoulder for a couple hours gets old. You just want to carry it, you know, like show off the triceps a little bit. And unfortunately, this is just not the most comfortable side handle that ever existed, but it's good. It fits with the entire theme of the pack, which is lightweightness, and you're not going to use it that often anyway. You're going to mostly be carrying this on your shoulders. All right, guys, we have torn this thing apart. I've shown you all I can possibly show you, but now we're gonna take it back to my co-working space where I will talk to you about the overall pros of the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack, as well as the overall cons. And after the pros and cons, I'll show you exactly who I think this day pack is perfect for and who I don't think it's good for. And if I don't think this pack works for you, I'll tell you exactly what pack I think will work perfectly for you. Lego. All right, let's chat about the pros and cons, but first I have to put my fake glasses on. Do I look more distinguished? Yeah, great. Overall pro number one. Really, if there's one identifiable feature of the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack, it is its compressibility and it's its biggest selling point. Remember, this is a smaller backpack that you smash like a pancake, put it inside your larger backpack, and then when you get to your destination, you open your larger backpack and whoosh, you got your day pack right there, which took a very, very minimal space. So its compressibility is awesome. Overall pro number two is going to be its materials slash its durability. Remember, the exterior materials of the Tortuga Outbreaker, both the day pack and the larger 40 liter travel pack are made from sailcloth, which means you can't cut into it with like a lightsaber. This is great for digital nomads or anybody who's gonna be traveling with a laptop. So when you are using it for a day pack, you wanna head over to the co-working space or the cafe, a little bit of light rain comes down or somebody even tries to like slash your bag. Like this thing is going to be very safe and very durable and all of your tech gear is going to be very well protected. And overall pro number three is its simplicity. What I love about this backpack is that Tortuga didn't try to overcomplicate anything. They knew exactly what they were trying to make, a compressible day pack that is lightweight and durable, that's it. No fluff, no bullshit features that you don't need, just the bread and butter, the meat and potatoes. Sausages and donuts. The sausages and donuts. <laughs> is that a Russian thing? <laughs> In Russia, we love sausage with donuts. So overall, I think its simplicity is a huge strength and a great selling point. But while I'm a big fan of this backpack, there's still a few cons. Con number one is going to be the negative side of this sailcloth material. So remember, like I said, it's durable, that's sweet. But some people are gonna be really turned off by that crunchiness. Remember here it goes, crunchiness. It's like, it's like biting into like, like Captain Crunch, it's that crunchy. It's like, it's like biting into like a pack of crackers. It's just, it's, it's crunchy. You got a lot of crunch going on. Con number two is going to be the access to the quick access pocket. The more I use it, the more this zipper gets snagged. Not usually when I'm opening it, but usually when I'm closing it, uh, go figure, it's not gonna happen right now, but usually this little flap kind of gets in the way and it just gets caught in there and it happens really, really often. Overall, it doesn't like destroy the user experience, but it can irk me sometimes. And I don't like to be irked. And the third overall con of this backpack is going to be kind of its lack of sexiness. Now I know what it's supposed to be. It's not meant to be designed to be a sexy backpack. Tortuga doesn't make backpacks that dominate the sexy backpack niche. Tortuga makes backpacks that dominate the functional backpack niche. But it's worth noting that if you were kind of looking for a day pack that had a little bit of sploosh, a little bit of splash to it, you know, this might not be the one for you. Which is why, all things considered, all the pros, all the cons, I've given this backpack an overall score of four out of five. It's a solid score for a solid day pack. But now is the most important part. Drum roll, please. Who is this backpack for and who is it not for? This is a pretty simple formula. If you plus have desire for a compressible, awesome day pack that has an impressive amount of capacity and storage, then this backpack is for you. Like I said, you're looking for that day pack that can squeeze into your larger travel pack 
And don't get me wrong, you can still carry this in the airport, but just like if you're looking for that light weight compressible solution that also has some comfort because there's other compressible bags, but the identifying feature is that those other compressible bags aren't gonna have this sort of back panel for comfort and ventilation. So really it's a simple formula. Like if you're in the market for something like this, this is the only bag that I could ever recommend. It's great. So it's a really specific type of person that I recommend this backpack for. If that sounds like you, please do not pass go, do not collect $200, just go right down to the description and please use our links when purchasing this bag. Our links or affiliate links, it just means that we get a little bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you and that's what keeps the lights on here. But while you might be caught up in Tortuga, Outbreaker, Day Pack, Fever, I know I am, this backpack is not for everyone. Here is who this pack is not for. The Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack is not for you if you're looking for sort of like a lifetime, next level, awesome day pack. While this thing has a decent amount of capacity and it is a day pack, at the end of the day, I think it's best suited as like a long-term travel solution because of its compressibility. But if you're not looking for a compressible pack, then please do not buy a compressible pack. It is meant for a specific type of situation and a specific type of traveler. Don't move. Let me see if I can control it using the force. The force is strong with me. If you are in the market for a day pack and don't need the compressibility, then check the links below. I've got some like next level day packs down there, man. I'm talking like the cream of the crop. This backpack is also not for you if you're looking for a 100% compressible day pack. What I mean by that is this is yet again a very specific day pack. It's a compressible day pack with a really nice and comfortable back panel. So what this means is it's comfortable, but what this also means is that you can't scrunch it up into like a little ball. There are some backpacks like this, compressible ones, that you can just wrap into a little ball and like it takes up a lot less space. If that's the kind of pack you're looking for is to where you don't need it for your laptop and you don't need it to be comfortable, I've got another solution from Tortuga. Check the link below. Okay, we're done. That's it for the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack Review. We're signing off. As always guys, you know how the whole YouTube thing works. It's the circle of life. You like what we're doing, so you hit the thumbs up, so we know we're doing a good job, so we keep making good videos, and you hit the like button, and it just keeps going and going, and it's this beautiful thing. So let's keep this beautiful thing beautiful, and if you're still here, it means you're loving what we're doing, so please hit the like button, subscribe, give us a comment. We appreciate all the love. That's it from me, Travel on Nomads. I'll see you next time. Stop. 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 Nailed it. Done. Huh? No, I'm cool with that. All it right. could be B-roll.